All right, here we are back again. We're going back to the portraits. So as you remember, we've gone step by step and hopefully that those things that you learned when you were drawing with me will actually help you as you are drawing a little bit more independently. One of those things you might choose to do is draw the profile view, um, but you can also draw the front view. So you've got, you've got your choices. Some of you are gonna go more realistically and some of you are gonna go really abstract or expressionist, but we are gonna try with some faces. So as you know, the last couple arts, we've been spending time just filling paper with color. You've done lines and shapes and textures and, and overlapping and mixing just to fill up two kind of small papers with color. What we're gonna use those papers for is now the background and draw portraits actually right on top of them. So it was important that we painted ahead of time so those papers were dry. And then we can now come back with oil pastels and draw faces. So one of the things you're gonna to have to do is just really look at your paintings and say, hmm, what already looks like a portrait? Or if nothing looks like a portrait, you can just roll with it. Remember, we were looking at Harold Smith's art, and we'll probably look again. So his art is really different. There's, it does not look at anything like it might be a photograph or looking in the mirror. So don't be afraid to kind of show eyes, but they don't have to be perfect eyes or, or make the nose a little bit different. So if you've never used oil pastels before, they're kind of like a mix between crayon and paint. You can just draw with them, but you can also mix colors and blend colors. Um, you can smear them with your finger. I love oil pastels. So I'm looking at my paintings when I was working on this and they actually look to me like the start of portraits. And it took me a while to see this one, but all of a sudden I went, hey, those lines could be the bangs and that one red swoosh across the middle could be the mouth. And so then I just had to fill in the eyes and the nose and, and it worked out. This one started off as my favorite, but when I was finished, I mean, it's okay, but it's not my favorite. And that's all right too. But I actually might keep adding to it. Um, this one I think I love because it was such a surprise. It took me a little bit of time before I could see the face. And then when I saw the face, it was so fun to make the paper look like the picture in my brain.